Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I am going to slap it down. The holy water. See? So good in the neighborhood. Bye, face. So, you know what time it is, baby. Yeah, yeah. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. No, presiding. You can all lay down or stand up or do whatever you want. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, y'all. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Ooh, it's a little shaky. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, wake up. Let's wake up. All right. We, oh, the Popus. Good old high priestess. <laughs> All right. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful. Okay. Okay. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Sure. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. All right. On donkey coming. Okay, Pisces. We have got. The High Priestess, otherwise known as the Popus. We've got the Eight of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Cups. Better pull out my sword. The overall energy for the reading is the Two of Wands here. So this is about being at a crossroads, knowing that you need to make a decision. Okay. So, High Priestess. She is the one, you know, that, you know, carries the secret knowledge. She holds the scroll which is the Torah, which is the teachings of Judaism here. And she's represented by, she stands between two pillars, Yahin and uh, Bach, which are, you know, uh, it was uh, what was foretold to Adam about the destruction of the world. It would either be by fire or it would be by flood. Okay, so that's why she keeps... She's very secretive because she holds those things. She also has the ability to reveal those things too. And in this particular deck, keys and tarot, are uh, they represent things that are going to be revealed. So we have something here that's going to be revealed with her holding those keys. Eight swords. This is being in a mental prison or physical prison here. Okay. You're not sure what to do, so you don't do anything at all, but you think. Okay, page of wands. This could be a message. This could be this person going out on a new adventure. Queen of cups, this could be your, it is your energy, but it could be their energy. Uh, the most love out of all the queens in tarot. She gives all the love here. So, we're going to talk to the queen of cups right off the bat and see what's going on with her and why she's here. So, why is my beautiful queen of cups here on the table? Why is my beautiful Queen of Cups down here? Let me see. Whew. Why is the Queen of Cups down here on the table, please? Sure. The Queen of Cups is here with the Six of Pentacles here. So what's going on with the Queen of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here? Okay. Whoever this is, okay, I feel like this is your energy here. 
and this person sees you as somebody who is very much emotionally balanced and you're physically balanced. So you're very fluid. It seems to be like you're really attractive here emotionally and physically. And this person, they think very highly of that. And this is what's coming through here, okay? So somebody here values you more than what you realize here. It's good energy here. I like it. Okay. So we're going to talk to the Eight of Swords. So what's this going on in this person's mental prison or physical prison, please? Let's talk to the Eight of Swords. Let's talk to the Eight of Swords. Two of Swords. They're in a mental prison. They're in a mental prison here. They're thinking, okay, they're not coming towards you because they don't know what to do. So they set in two swords in eight swords. It's a very stubborn energy. So they're in two minds of you. Why is this? What is, uh, what's going on here with this person being in two minds about Pisces? What are they in two minds about? What are they in two minds about with the Seven of Pentacles? What are they in two minds about with the Seven of Pentacles energy? <clears throat> what is this two person in two minds about with the Seven of Pentacles energy, please? What is this person in two minds about with the Seven of Pentacles energy, please? Boy, what is this person in two minds about with the Seven of Pentacles energy? Wow. What is this person in two minds about with the Seven of Pentacles energy here? Okay, we finally got something. Okay. So, whatever the case is, this person here, it's like, they feel like they just need a rest right now. Yeah. Yeah. They need to rest. They need to reflect. And they feel like it's just time right now for them to rest and reflect. But the whole time here, they're thinking about you in this Two Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like, since I can't make a decision, I feel like I'm at a deadlock and at an impasse with the Two of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and what? This is going to be rest. It's time to rest. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Time to rest. Okay. Wow. Oh, boy. Here we go. They think highly of you, though. So, I don't know who this is. Maybe this is your grandma, your auntie. I don't know. Your T.O., your Tia. I don't know. Grocery store clerk. I don't know. Who knows? I just read the energy here. Okay. So, what's the page of wands down here on the table for? the page of wands down here on the table for in this person's energy show me the page of wands what's on the table here what's this on the table Ooh, that's emotional fulfillment what's the page of wands with the uh, nine of cups okay so as of right now okay your person is finding emotional fulfillment in life so they're just trying to so it's like maybe they're going camping i don't know hunting fishing i don't know but right now they feel like they can have the most success here and the most mo, most emotional fulfillment here um by doing things independently here okay so this is what they're focused on right now is their own emotional independence and having success and victory in that. Oh boy. But they've, somebody here values you very much so. But they're, it's like they're not coming towards you. I'm sorry. I just read the energy here. I don't know what's going to come on the table. Don't shoot the messenger. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, well, my per and I get it. I know. I understand. I want your person to come towards you too. But I want your person to come towards you healed though. Okay. 
so they're not like messing you up again. I don't want that. Okay. So what's the high priestess in this? What are they going to reveal here in this specific situation? They're going to reveal something here. What are they going to reveal? Their fears. So what are their fears here that they're going to reveal? Mm -mm -mm -mm. They fear rejection. I can see why this person's not coming towards you now. Because they're fearing rejection here. This could be anybody. I don't know. This could be a real new energy coming towards you. I'm not get, I'm almost feeling like this is a new energy coming towards you here. But they're fearing rejection here. Wow. That's a very interesting reading. I'm going to leave it here. That was adjourned. That was really weird.